The podcast you're about to hear was made with Anchor. You can use Anchor to make a podcast right from your phone, no experience necessary. Plus, it's completely free. Get the app at anchor.fm slash podcast. You're listening to the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce and tech news. Presented by Sumo Heavy. Here's your host, Bart Moraz. This is the e-commerce minute for July 24th, 2017. Tao Cafe, China's cashless store. Tao Cafe is a newly opened 200 square meter store from Alibaba. Hundreds of eager Chinese customers experienced the store for themselves over the weekend at Taibo Makers Festival in Hangzhou, China. The cafe, as the name implies, also sold drinks and beverages alongside with other gifts and knickknacks. What makes Taibo Cafe unique is that the store is completely staffless and self-serve. To make a purchase, you download the Alibaba Taibo app. When you walk into the store, customers are scanned and identified via facial recognition. So if you're buying a food item and you place the order, uh, when you walk up to the screen, there's your photo and an estimated wait time. I guess that keeps the order straight. For all the purchases, as we see in the happy demo video, you walk in, grab your items and go. Well, you walk through, it looks like a, almost like a scanner, like a, what would you call it? Like a, a special doorway they have to go through. You can't sneak out of the store and it scans you and then the app charges your account. Kind of looks like a metal detector? Yeah, like sort of, but it's all enclosed. Gotcha. It's kind of like creepy looking actually for claustrophobic. <laughs> the launch of the Tao Cafe from Alibaba was designed to show off a new retail concept showing the potential for convenient online shopping experiences to be translated into brick and mortar spaces. For now, Alibaba has yet to announce any future plans for more cafe. Taibo has a huge share of the Chinese market with over 369 million people active on its mobile app alone each month. 150 million of those log on daily. Does this sound familiar? Oh, yeah. It's all Amazon world. Um, I think, well, the, first of all, Alibaba is, I think, bigger than Amazon now. But they're definitely doing a lot more stuff with it. Um, well, Amazon has the the Amazon Go, which is their store they're trying out with no people in it. And where is that's in Seattle, right? And it's we we saw that concept. That's kind of the same thing. You scan your phone when you leave, and you scan your when you scan your phone coming in and coming out, or how does that work? Uh, you scan your you basically check in when you walk in. So you check in, check out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you check. Yeah, I mean, the store knows what you're picking up, what you're leaving with, and all that kind of stuff. And how does it know that? Because I, I understand Cameras. how the Thai bow thing works because you're in that metal detector thing. How does the Amazon concept work? Cameras. So it knows when you pick it up from the shelf or put it back. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little weird. Um, I think they have sensors on the shelves itself, but they literally have – it's all about cameras and how they do it. And, and you know, you obviously could do it with beacons, but they actually do it on cameras, which is – <laughs> I think that's weird. That's crazy. I, I can't even begin to understand that because I would think there'd be a bunch of different ways, like, I don't know, RFID chips or something like that in the actual product. I mean, but how do you do that with an Apple? Yeah, uh, I think it, literally, they, I think they just, just like you check in and knows who you are and then it has cameras, which is kind of interesting for me because then like it's, you're not the only person in that store, right? You're multiple people. So how does it track all those things? Yeah, it's pretty. So the technology is technology is interesting, and and overall, I'm kind of glad. You know, obviously, you could look at China and and what they're doing, like Alibaba or any one of these guys, what they're doing, um, sort of copying a lot or trying to be stay ahead of it um, overall. And they're always going to be trying to do weird and crazy things, you know, like Amazon does. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, these are just proof of concept things. But do you think? I mean. I guess it's pretty obvious that they want to at least see if this works so that if they say, Hey, you know what? It makes sense to pivot back to brick and mortar or make an equal balance of our businesses, brick and mortar and e-commerce. We're already ahead of the game. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing we saw with that, uh, that, uh, that remote store thing, the concept that they're trying out. Yeah. The Moby Mart. Yeah. The Moby Mart. It's kind of both those. I think they're trying to not brick and mortar, but I think it's going to be smaller places where people pick up the convenience. of Right. Like pop-up shop type of things. Yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Anything else to add on this beautiful Monday? Oh, this beautiful rainy Monday here in New York. Yeah. It's raining here too. (laughs) All right. Is that it? Yep. All right. That's e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today. If you like the show, make sure you add us as a favorite and share this with your friends. 
Please follow us on social media, at Sumo Heavy. And finally, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion for the show, call us on Anchor. Until next time, we'll see you on the next e-commerce minute. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm/podcast. That's anchor.fm/podcast.